In this video we will show you how to design a full anatomical crown. To start your design, you need to open Dental Designer. You can do that in two ways, either by clicking the design button at the end of the scanning process or by double-clicking the order in Dental Manager. Dental Designer opens at first step called Directions, automatically skipping the annotation sub-step, which has already been accomplished during the scanning process. Therefore, you will enter directly at the insertion direction sub-step. If necessary, you can go back to the annotation sub-step by clicking it. At the insertion direction step, you will only see the scan of a die with green control points proposed by Dental Designer as indication of the margin line. To change their position, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard for moving up and down as well as going to the next one. Alternatively, you can use the Move Point and Select Line buttons in the Edit Points menu. Or click the mouse button to place the green points manually with the mouse cursor. When finished, click Next to obtain the estimate of the insertion direction. The insertion direction is now visualized by a thin blue arrow. You will see a dark red shading on the die indicating undercut areas for the given insertion direction. If you want to change the insertion direction, you can use the arrow buttons to make very fine adjustments in particular directions. You can also configure the movement by setting the step value. Alternatively, you can click Optimize to make an automatic adjustment. Or set the insertion direction from your viewing angle by rotating the scan and clicking the Set button to define your current view as the insertion direction. Here you can also find information on how high your restoration will be. Click Next to move to the Interfaces step. You enter at the Margin Line sub-step where the margin line is placed automatically. If the margin line crosses the undercut area, it turns red to notify you. Red dots on the line indicate the exact insertion place. You can modify the margin line easily by using the mouse cursor to draw the line or click to move the line on the model. The margin line will become green when it is entirely above the undercut area. However, if you leave margin line crossing undercuts, you still will be able to proceed with your design but you will be notified of that with a window message. When finished with editing margin line, click Next to move to the die interface step, where the inside of the crown, called Interface, will be created. Here in the Settings menu, you can change the material for your restoration from the drop-down list. The undercuts are removed by selecting the Remove Undercuts checkbox. If the crown is to be milled, it might be necessary to select the Drill Compensation option. Click Preview to visualize the die interface. Now click Next to proceed to the Anatomy Design step, where the crown is automatically placed. The new Smile Composer sub-step is now a combination of the Smile Composer features and Scalp Toolkit. At this step, you can do all necessary adjustments to your design. For example, now you can choose a Smile Library and have access to all Scalp tools. Speed up the design process with Smart Tools, Auto Placement or Miro from the scan.
perform all desired modifications to the restoration with node sculpting tools such as transformation, morphing, wax knife, and others. Use virtual articulator to make sure your full anatomical crown functions correctly in static and dynamic occlusion and click Adapt the design to adjust the crown to the movement. Once your design is finished, click Next. Dental Designer will get you to the save step. Click Close to save your design. And that's it. Thank you for watching.